So I notice when I look at this, I have three kinds of fractions, and I need to figure out the difference between them. So I'm going to kind of give you a little tidbit so that you can remember them and make it much easier in the future. The first thing I want to do is I want to find the number that has a whole number out in front. So the only one I see that has a whole number is the one on the left. So there's a one before my actual fraction. So whenever you have that, this is automatically going to be your mixed number. So I would always find that one first. The next thing you want to do is I've just got two fractions left. And I notice that on one of them, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And in another one, the numerator is larger than the, than the denominator. So you know it's either going to be a proper fraction or an improper fraction. So the best way to think about it is if something is looks good and is kind of pretty, it's going to be proper. So this is a proper fraction. And when the numerator is larger than the denominator, it looks kind of funky, not stellar. And so this is going to be an improper fraction. So really, when you think about it, like I said, you, it's easiest if you'll do the mixed number first, and then just think about if something looks like it should, so the numerator is smaller, it's going to be proper. If it's larger, then it's going to be improper.